first part of this lesson, we're going to be um, working in Photoshop instead of After Effects. We want to be able to set it up and get it ready to um, move over or import it into After Effects so that we can actually animate our character. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is you need to find a cartoon character. Um, you can Google one. You can um, just pull one up off the Internet in some way. But you need the character to um, show a head, a body, two arms, and two legs. It's going to make more work for yourself if you find a character that's going to be like standing with one arm to their side so you can't see it, or if um, the feet are too far on top of each other or something like that. So that's why I picked this Mickey Mouse because his arms are spread out pretty easily. His feet um, are gonna be easy to fix. There's just a little fix right here you would have to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to break this character down into those key parts, a head, a body, two arms, and two legs. You can also do anything extra. Like on this one, I did do his tail. Um, I have had students in the past that had a character with like a cane and they broke the cane out to a separate piece. So what you're going to do is open this character in Photoshop and I'm gonna kind of show you how we start. So this is the character we're starting with and then how you're going to break him down. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is maybe select his head using any of the selection tools. Make Again, make sure you're on your correct layer. And what I did was um, I have a layer, my layer that my Mickey Mouse is on and I just called it background. Okay, and then these are the layers we're gonna create. So they're already created on here, but you should only see one layer right now. Okay, so under on background, I'm, I have it selected. I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to go through and I'm gonna select just his head. And you can use any of the selection tools you're comfortable with. Remember, if you press and hold shift, you're gonna add to that selection. And if you press and hold alt while you're doing it, then you're going to take away. Okay, so you're gonna go through, you're gonna make your selection. You're going to um, only for the head, and if you need to, you can use, you know, go back and forth and use other tools as well. So if you need a, just a little area, you can do like the lasso tool. And then you're going to control C if you're on a PC and command C if you're on a Mac. And then what you're going to, um, you're going to do the paste. So control V or command V, and then you're going to have just the head on a layer. Okay, so then I went on there and I double clicked on the word and I changed it to head just so I could know what it was. Now, if I close my background layer, you can see I only have a head. Okay, then you're going to proceed to do the same thing for a left arm and a right arm. So there's two separate layers. And then you're going to um, have to go back. You'll see that my body actually overlapped the arm. So I went back and I finished drawing out the arm. The reason is because when we're separating these out, you're going to end up losing part of that body part. And instead of drawing it back in, or um, instead of making movements, you'll have to draw it back in. Okay, so go ahead and do that for your head, your body, two arms and two legs until you have your entire character in each one is a separate piece as you can see like right here okay so separate pieces okay once you have that go ahead and do file and save as and save it as a psd and then hold on to that and i will show you how in the next part to transfer it over into after effects <laughs> 